Welcome to day 11 of the query folding challenge. For today's challenge, the instruction says to select city, country, region code, and English country region name where no sale occurred. Sort the result by country region and city in ascending order. For this challenge, we are going to be working with AdventureWorks database. We are working with the geography table, customer, and fact internet sales table. And based on this challenge, you notice that we need a mean, we need a way to identify the relationship between these tables. For example, from the fact internet sales table, we can get the total sales for each customer. And from the customer table, we can get the total sales for each geography or for each region. So let's head over to Power BI and see this works out. The first step as usual is to always import the data from the data source. We're working with the AdventureWorks database. We're selecting the customer table, geography table, and fact internet sales table. Click on OK. If you're prompted to import, click on OK. From the fact internet sales table, the first step we need to do is to aggregate the total sales for each customer. To do that, click on transform, go to group by. We are grouping this by the customer key. We want to call it sales amount. We want to get the total sum for the sales amount. Now we can get the total, click on OK to get the total sales for each customer. Now rename this table to sales amount by customer. We have to uncheck the option to enable load, right? The next step is to go to the customer table. For the customer table, we need just two columns. So we go to home, select customer key and geography. We can now create a relationship between sales amount by customer because we want to see the, to the sales amount for each customer here. To do this, we go to merge queries. For the column we want to use, we want to use a customer key, sales amount by customer, we also want to use a customer key. Click on OK. Up next, you expand the new column such that you get the sales amount. Now we have the sales amount for each customer. But the objective here is to get the total sales for each geography. So what we want to do is to add one more step where we sum the sales for each geography. To do that, click on Transform. Click on group by, then select geographic key. But that, that, that's the column we want to group by and call the new column sales amount. We want to sum sales amount. Click on OK. Now we have a total sales for each geography. We can rename this to sales amount by geography unable um uncheck the option to load this into power bi up next we want to select the columns that we want to see based on the instruction we are to select the city country region code english country region name but for now we still need a geographic key so, so that we can create a relationship with the sales amount by country table to create that relationship we perform a merge go to combine and click on merge select the geographic key select the sales by geography table and click on ok Expand the resulting table such that you have only sales amount. 
Now we have the sales amount for its geography. Now the instruction says we you should show the result where there is no sales. Just to confirm, it says where no sales amount occurred. That is our focus will be on where the sales amount is null. You can type this function out or you can simply click the drop the down arrow, select remove empty rows. After, after clicking on that option, you can just modify this. So this should be equal to, instead of and, you change this to or, and change this to equal to. Click on enter. And now you have all the cities and country where there was no sales. With that done, we also need to sort the results by the country code. We're sorting this in ascending order. We are also to sort this by city. Afterwards, we are to remove all the columns that we don't need. So we choose columns. We remove the geography key and we remove the sales amount. Click on OK. Then we need to confirm that query folding is still working fine. And yes, query folding is working fine. With this, we've been able to solve today's challenge. After this, you can just click on close and apply. Load your data into Power BI. Do your analysis. That's if you have any. This brings us to the end of the challenge for day 11. See you tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Bye.